Hello again and welcome to Let Jesus Drive Your Soul. Um, today our topic is be kind to your neighbor. Be kind to your neighbor. I hope and trust that you are doing well today and I know that the Lord is blessing and keeping us. There's a saying that says, it is better to shut your mouth and let everybody think that they are a fool than to open your mouth and let everybody see that you are a fool. The wise man Solomon says in the book of Proverbs, that persons who are wise speak less. There is even another saying that says, if you did not see it for yourself, if you did not hear it for yourself, it is best to keep your mouth shut than to go off hearsay that you cannot prove. There is no evidence if you have the evidence no, then that's a different story. There are many individuals who will hear things about their neighbors and their friends and will go around spreading it without <laughs> being able to prove it. You have to be very careful of those kind of people those kind of people who always like to hear your story but never want to give you any story about themselves. So if you didn't see it for yourself or hear it for yourself, it is best to be silent. Um, <clears throat> there's a, a word in psychology that is called cortisol and and um, cortisol is a stress hormone that is produced by our body as a response to stress and danger fight or flight and most of us would have heard that principle that when you are in a hard situation, there are two things that you are going to do. Either you are going to stand up and face the problem, or you are going to run from the problem, fight or flight. And um, this is the reason, beloved friends, some people love to hear bad news about others and that is not a good habit. Bad news sells better than good news because humans gain pleasure from the effect of this hormone which can be quite addictive, cortisol, right? You are getting this fear and then there is a peace because what you see is not happening to you. So it's like watching a movie and there's a fearful moment. Uh, 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 one of those um, movies that is violent and, and the, a fearful moment is coming across you coming over you but then you go back into the real world and say oh it's just a movie right so that is why it is not always good to feed our minds on these negative situations that we see in movies or by hearing bad news every day it is best to feed our minds on positive news, positive situations. Um, you, you, you hear something bad happen to somebody 
that you know and and you meet the person you see the person and you pretend to be sorry but at times it's just a hypocritical sorry because by the time you get some information from the source from the person you change that news many times so that it becomes juicy and we ought to be very kind to our neighbors but sometimes especially if the person is an empath they are going to pick up something that your energy is not genuine and so don't take it for granted that sometimes when you are playing hypocrite and you are not genuine that persons are not going to know they will know cardison so 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 you you ought to be careful beloved friends how you um tear down your neighbors tear down your friends and even brothers and sisters without knowing the truth you did not hear it you did not see it for yourself so if you pretend to be wise it is best to keep your mouth shut. I don't know, I have never seen a scripture verse that Jesus always go around spreading bad news. I have never seen that. He was all about lifting people up, uh, uh, um, spreading the good news of salvation. So spreading bad news and unkind news about someone based on your feelings cortisol is wrong always act on principles be kind even if you feel to destroy someone let the principle drive your soul until next time when we will have another word for you. God bless you.